Hey friends, today let's talk about the February color challenge. Hello my creative friends, Jessica Sanders here. Welcome to my channel. And welcome to Art Exploration with Jessica, Kelly, and Lisa. That's me, plus Kelly Chassie and Lisa Hetrick of Indigo Jade Art. We got together and decided to team up to bring you inspiration, exploration, playtime, and fun with your art. We've created a Facebook group, which I would love for you to join in with us. We're going to be there chatting and inspiring and learning from each other. The three of us would really love to connect and play with you. So I hope you'll join our Facebook group. The link is down below. All right, let's talk about our February color challenge, which is purple. Yes, we are exploring purple for the month of February. Purple is a very inspiring color, I feel. It's kind of, to me, the color of inspiration, the color of royalty, and I just really feel happy when I see the color purple. So let's chat a little bit about purple. Purple is a brilliant, beautiful color. And so just like last month, I went sort of a look through my art and my art journal to discover and see where I used purple in the past. And I find that I use it mostly as an accent color. So on this page, I have these purples and purpley pinks all mixed in. There's lots of purple in the background and I love it. I think this is one of my favorite pages in my journal here. Um, this is an unfinished page, but you can see it has quite a bit of purple on it. I don't know where I'm going with it from here. It's just where it is right now. And it's got this sort of violet purples and more bluey purples. So it's, I, I love that too. I always think of galaxies when I think of purple. So here's a page that has a lot of purple in it and a lot of magenta as well. So kind of an interesting mix I think. It was a lot of fun to do and just a messy creative page. And for watercolor I used a lot of purple in this portrait. I wanted her eyes to be kind of pinky purple and notice there's a lot of the shadow color. I use purple as a shadow color more than any other color. I just love purple as a shadow color. So this was a fun project. All right, so that's kind of how I've been using it up to now, mostly as an accent or shadow color. And I think it works for that. Of course, it can be beautiful focal point as well. So now I'll switch over to my color exploration and we can just learn a little bit about purple. Okay, I'm just going to focus on watercolor today and <clears throat> I'll share with you the purples that I have in my Mission Gold palette. So I really only have two purples in my Mission Gold palette and one of those is red violet and it reminds me a little bit of Barney maybe <laughs> so there's red violet it's a nice pinky purple so it's a very warm purple let me just add a little bit of water just to see how that see it really almost turns to pink when it's flowing that flow a little bit there we go so that is red violet and that's in my mission gold palette and I also have bright clear violet so that's this one and it's a very different purple these are very different from one another but they are in the same purple color family so it's pretty interesting how we can just think of purple and I'm sure when you think of purple there's a certain color that comes to mind and it might not be either one of these it might be one of these. I tend to think more purple in this way, and this does, like I said, reminds me of Barney a little bit for like more. Now, if I mix these two purples, I think we'll get something pretty interesting. So I'm just going to just test that right here. And I think we'll get some really pretty purpley colors. And I'm just going to let them mix on the paper here. Pull that out. See some really nice colors there. So even with just two purples, you can get a really nice range of color. I, I, I think they're really pretty. <laughs> so we have purples and the complement or the opposite on the color wheel of purple is yellow. So I'm using permanent yellow light for my complement. This is a really clear yellow. 
Now my water is already a little bit purpley, so it may affect this color just a little bit because yellows are so, I don't know, they're so light and clear. I'm going to put this yellow down first and then I'll add purple to it so we can see. Now, of course, it's going to neutralize it and also these purples are much stronger than this yellow. So let me just put a little bit here. I'll mix it with the red violet there. I think you'll get more of an orangey, peachy kind of color, but I'm not sure, honestly. Let's add some more yellow here. <laughs> they're like, no, we're not mixing. Okay, those two just don't want to mix. If you notice, they're sitting beside each other in the water. Okay, let's try our bright, clear violet here mixed with the yellow. Now the yellow flowed straight into that. That's pretty interesting. It was just quite a different effect. Every color is different, so pretty interesting to see. I think how that yellow just was bossy and pushed that purple around. But you will get a more neutral color when you mix them. But it takes a lot of the yellow to make a difference really in the purple. Again, it's bossy. Look at that. That yellow is sad not having it. It's like I am the boss, even though it's a light bright color, right? Still taking more really of this purple than I expected. And let me pick up more yellow. I just want to get kind of a mix here. Let's see what we get. It's going to be a ooh. That's a lot of yellow in there. Let me add a little bit more of our bright clear violet. So we're getting a really muddy brown. Personally, I don't like this at all, this color. Uh, maybe there are some applications for it, but I don't care for that. But this is okay. This, this red-violet mixed with the yellow, that makes a nice mix, I think. Although, like I said, they kind of push it against each other, kind of equally strong. So they're not flowing into each other. Hey, that's good to know, right? I feel like that's really important and good to know. So let's see, we've got, I'm gonna put both these purples here. And then my favorite colors to work with purples are colors that are near them on the color. I like to work with pinks with purples. I feel like they look nice together, right? But especially this flows together with the red violet. Now, how does that pink look with this other violet. See, it gets a really almost glowy effect there also. So I like to work with pinks. I also like to work with blues. Now if you use ultramarine blue, it's already a little bit on the purple side and it will mix nicely. I like these purples and blues combination. And occasionally, <laughs> this may sound strange, but especially with the red violet, I like to use a neutral green. So maybe like an olive green would be good uh, for something, for some reason, or a hooker screen. For some reason, I tend to like them, maybe because it's got that floral vibe. So I tend to like this green with this red violet. And also red is fun with these violets. So <laughs> I like to use, I guess, a lot of different colors with the purple because I do tend to use it, like I said, as a background color or sort of a sort of a shadow color. So anyway, pretty cool looking and really interesting effects there. So that is my Mission Gold purples and watercolor. And I think they'll be fun to use. I'm thinking of doing a galaxy painting for that. But we'll just have to wait and see. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Kelly and Lisa's YouTube channels. And I'll see you in the Facebook group.